find you guilty and sentence you to 32 days in South Oath Town Correction Correctional Facility. I cannot read. <laughs> it may not be a long time, but it will be a hard time. Get it? Hard time. You'll be lucky if you survive. I'm now handing you over to the warden. They'll have you settle into your new home. Well, not in this place, but in other areas you can do other stuff. And there's my sexy, strapping young man. <laughs> okay. So basically, this is a role-playing game, completely. There's like... Oh, wait. Um, Alright, Tapimon. That's... Thank... That's you... That's you processed. Oh, that is you pro... Okay. You're, d you're now known as Prisoner N02. That means you're in cell block 2 of the north block. So head over th there and make yourself at home. Okay. He, you have to wait for him to stop talking. So basically, this is a 100% role-playing game. Like, legitimately, everything you do is role-play. You just role-play as a prisoner in this prison. So, to make this more interesting, I have a, a Pokemon hat filled with different ways I could role-play my character. But for now, this first one's gonna be called Tutorial. Because I kinda wanna just show how amazing this world is. And the other ones, I'll just kinda play around in the world. Oh, what are you doing? I have simple controls. You can move around with the arrow keys, run with Z or block if you're standing still. Use X to pick things up off the ground or out of someone's hand if you see someone's hand. Like, see this police baton right here? I can pick it up. Now, of course, the guy's gonna. Oh, I, he fr freezes you after a moment because you look at the police baton. Of course, if I show the policeman that I have a police baton, he gets pissed off. Go over here. Hello. Wow, he doesn't really care. Oh, yes, he does. What were we doing with that thing? Okay. You know you're not allowed to carry weapons. Put it down immediately or there'll be trouble. I, I just... You, you grabbed it out of my hand. How am I not putting it down? Yes, drop weapon. Step away from the weapon. You won't have to take this any further. Okay. Then to attack somebody, press A. You can actually... There's lots of fighting in this game, surprisingly. Even, well, it's kind of prison. I don't know, I've never been to prison, so I don't know if there's lots of fighting there. And then you can grab their heads by doing, if you press S. Also, if you press S, I believe you can throw things if you're holding an item. Let's see. Um.
Also, these items, you can press A to attack with them. Ooh, the phone. Oh. This is the main room of the prison right here that we're in right now. Right now, there's no one in it, but later in the game, there's like billions of people in the main room. When the phone's ringing, you find the one with the light on, and then you just press X. Hey, you don't know me, but listen up. Out of faith, if you want, do me a favor, I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Warden Duggan's got it coming. Track him down and give him a beating by. Oh, God. Yeah, I just got into this prison that I'm already telling people. Are people already telling me? So, which, which guy do I got a bit beating? I. I that's the problem with me. I always forget people's names. I don't really pay attention. I gotta do that. I gotta remember their names next time. So, let's, let's go to our cell right now. I'm not gonna really do that mission now. I might. If I find that guy around, I might just. Give him a little spanking. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to my cell. I am in. South block? No, no, never mind. I was in the right block over there. North block. Cell two. Oh, stop following me. Thank you. So I'm gonna go back to the north block. Let's go in. There we go. Removing weapons. It's it doesn't actually remove your weapons when you go into a block. So exactly that's why you can carry weapons from another room into your own cell, which I love to do because that's hoarding weapons. Over here, this is all the prisoners. And um, if you see anyone wearing like a special over here. I believe this guy, yeah, this guy was wearing a tie, if you saw. If you see them wearing a special uniform, that means they're part of a gang. And if you're part of a gang, then you have, like, group people who are your friends. Whoa, man! I have a shank. Get away. Okay. This is my cell. I'm selling them. I'm cell N002. Now, my bed. So, you can go in your bed, and your character... Look at the top, that's your health bar. Your health, and your second bar is your sanity bar. Your sanity will go up, too. Now, if you get your health and your, your sanity reaches zero, your guy goes insane. And legitimately, you cannot control him. He just runs around killing people. If your health bar reaches zero, then you either die or get knocked. It's really random. You either die or get knocked out. It's so weird. So now let's keep going around with my knife. Um, I will not show some combat right now. Because usually, when you start doing combat, that's when stuff starts getting terrible. Not in the game. The game doesn't get terrible. The game gets really fun when you start doing combat. But I mean, like, every there's like no way you can have a normal day anymore once you start doing combat. Let's try to see if any prisoner wants to talk to me. What are you doing with that knife? No. Yeah. They always get pissed off at you if you have anything. Legitimately, you can pick up a like a burnt up cigarette on the ground and they'll just start beating you to death and taste if you don't drop it immediately. And they'll take you to jail if you don't drop it. Also. <laughs> so look at this. Freaking dynamite. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Wait, can I actually use this? Let's see. Yeah. Oh god, you actually can! Yeah. I've never died before! Oh my god, don't, don't, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me, prison guard! That was a great first day. I'm gonna leave this room. I just blew up all those people! You can kill people in this game. Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, if you start doing bad things, the people will. Hey, man. You've thrown the last punch in the zero two. Or you're under arrest for assaulting another inmate. I didn't see. Okay, well, this is court. If you ever get in trouble, you can go to court again. And then they'll. they'll it's kind of random. They'll deem you guilty based on what you did. They've gathered information in the case against prisoner N002. Ooh, so the warden. Duggan, what's your story? Sorry guys, I cannot read, so if you get annoyed with that, you screw the those accounts. N002 is particularly aggressive and they and had the restraint and from harming the others. I was forced to do the warden's job with anarchy in there. So I consistently have to defend myself. You tell him N002. Okay, we both stopped bickering. I'll settle this. Just give me a minute to think over the facts. And then, I think it's random, but uh, I think it's based on also court ruling in the... This court's ruling in the favor of... Ah, oh, dang it! So here's the thing about when the court changes its mind. Person in a place of learning, not fighting. And violent behavior does not show much progress. Oh. So, he
he gives you another one day, adding one day to my sentence. Oh, crap. So basically, since you, if I'll explain this later, right, when I get out of court, which just has to do a little panorama on my face and how shocked I am with my exact same dull look on my face. You look at the... Oh. Otherwise, no. Oh, God, no! Adam Bryant is now found dead. Ultimately, his death thought related to dispute with Tappy Mod. Oh, no! I killed a prisoner. He told it to his friends within the prison and his family he leaves behind outside. Oh my god, I just threw a piece of TNT. An accident. Get back to your cell. Oh, we're trying to lock this place down for the night. He looks like Hank Hill. Look at that guy. You better cell number two. Ooh, use that one or I'll have to put you in a hospital bed. Ooh, got me. Okay, okay. I'm, don't, don't touch me. So basically, if you look up in the corner of the screen, you can see my health, my sanity, my percentage in strength, my percentage in agility, my percentage in intelligence, my percentage in reputation, and my money. So I'm just gonna explain what each one of those does right now while I'm in my cell. Everyone's sleeping. So there's so lots of snoring in the background. So my health, I, I told you my health is, my sanity, and see it went down a lot because I killed a man, so my guy's going kind of insane. My strength is, um, you can, Upgrade, you can lose strength if you like, you know, just being lazy, going to sleep a lot. But you can gain strength by like doing, by like doing different activities that you'll see later. Agility by running around. Actually, it's not, I just kept running around in circles in this room. I would gain agility, but you lose agility by being lazy. Intelligence, you gain intelligence by like, but if you like gain intelligence by reading, I don't know how you lose intelligence though. Since I don't know everything about this game yet. So. Why'd you throw your police baton in my cell? <laughs> What the heck is up with these guys? Reputation, the way reputation works is um, you get reputation for beating people up, joining gangs, and you lose reputation for like, you know, like, um, ratting people out to prison guards, doing all those kind of things that, you know, bad people will do. In well, according to prisoners, bad people will do, but according to me, I think that's a good thing to do. But reputation, you... You lose reputation also if you go to court and you're not deemed guilty because then you think you bribed the judge or that you snitched someone else out. But if you're deemed guilty, you get lots of reputation because I think they think that, oh yeah, you're deemed guilty, that's cool. Also, you gain more days. You see the other corner, there's a time of the day. It's one second equals one minute in this time. And also, there's the amount of days I have left. So, once those days run out, then you win the game. So, let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna go see that. Also, it goes really fast. Attention, lockdown is over. All inmates should wake up and resume their rehabilitation. I just cut ahead to when I had to wake up because I don't want to make you guys watch me sleep all day. Since actually, I did try to do this once. I tried to do all sleeping in this. It's so funny. Everyone's really pissed off at you. And somebody threw a police upon my cell and he did never take it out. So now let's just, let's go return this to him. Let's, let's, go, let's go become a better citizen. Get out of here! Oh, wait, what the heck? What the heck? I didn't do anything! What the heck? Are you going Oh, I think this guy's going Hey, Devin, you must have been retarded. I've never met anybody so stupid. I stupid as Why are you guys all beating me up? This makes no sense. Stop it! Get away! That's combat, Chris A. What's your problem? Touch me again and I'll make it the last thing you ever do. Okay. okay, I'm not gonna touch you. Why is this guy? He's a jerk. Get out of here. Oh no, no, I'm gonna go insane. No, I don't wanna go insane. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. Stop following me. You, you get out of here. Okay. I figure out TNT is actually pretty powerful. Better watch your back, Tapmon. We don't like people or white people around here. Oh god! <laughs> Screaming against me because I'm white! Ow! Actually, no, I'm not gonna say I don't like black people because that is somewhat racist. Fuck, I'm gonna go insane. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave, and you guys aren't gonna beat me up anymore. Thank you. Bye. But anyway, I think that's enough for now. In the next episode, I'll be showing you about, like, the mess hall and all the. Wait hands are good too. We both know, know that justice was done in the courtroom. 
There's no reason for either of us to hold a grudge. So just, so just toe the line, and we won't have any problems. Okay, I was not expecting that, but anyway, that's it for now. Uh, see you guys next time.